Peace and family. We're bringing to you another testimony. I'm really proud of this brother. Looking forward to talking to him. Got an amazing story to tell. Someone that I've empowered through one of my programs. And it's great. It's great to go into this conversation. A lot of times when we do things for people, they keep it quiet because they may be getting or making a significant sum of money in light of what we've done for them. So I get it, how they like to keep their privacy. They don't want friends and family and everybody to know all their business or their come up. So some of these testimonies are hard to come by because of the significant sums of money that these people get. But it really helps to let people know that good things are going on as well. So I'm waiting for my brother to get up in here and we'll get to it. And we'll start discussing these things at great length. I'm looking to see where he's at so I can bring him in here. Let me see. Waiting for him to come in. Let's see if I can get him to come in. I didn't want it to take this long. Otherwise, I'll, oh, there he go. Waiting for him right there. Let's see if we could bring him in here. Trying to add you in, my brother. Let me see, son. Why they not let me go live with you? That's weird. How come I could go live with everyone else but you? Hey, send me a request, brother. Send a request to get in here. Do me a favor and send a request. Everybody else I can bring in here. I don't know why I can't bring you. See, everybody I click, it says go live with. Click your options on the screen and see if you can send me a request, brother. I just sent you an invite as well. Bear with us, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, peace. Knowledge, knowledge, brother. <laughs> peace to the God. <laughs> hey, man, this this a blessing to finally meet you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, I want to tell you thank you for everything that you have done for me, man. I mean, I feel so powerful right now. I'm 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 using your words. Talk to me nice. Ah, ah. <laughs> I love that. But uh, love yes, man. Just. One Wanted to share my story, um, and I have influenced a lot of my family members too, man. Uh, from where we come from and what I've been through, this is a blessing, man. Like I, I words can't even explain it. Uh, let, me, let me, let me, let's let's help them walk you down. Uh, uh, not to get too much into your business, but you did some time, right, my brother? Yes, sir. I did some time. I did a lot of time. As a matter of fact, I twenty. How long was you behind the wall? Twenty five. Five years, 25 years, day for day. So wow. uh, for me to come out here and not use no excuses and then run across your program man, has levitated me to a level where I feel strong. I'm standing strong. Man, brother, you had me Bless. ready to cry. You had my wife and I about to cry for you, man. Yes. Uh, to hear, hear brother just coming home after 25 years, and we know how they uh, look to – separate you from society not include you in society and like yes. you said they make no excuses i think it's deep and it's profound that you would roll the dice on yourself so to speak when it comes to investing in yourself because yes. a lot of times people make excuses about investing in themselves 
Uh, what if it's a scam? What if it doesn't work? But these are the same people who take risks doing drugs or drug dealing or, or gang banging. And so you've been separated from society for 25 years. And while these people walk around here free for the most part, you come home and you took advantage of the situation in real time while people are still fidgeting around, wondering if they should or they should not. So first yes. and foremost, uh, I always say in many ways, the people that are in prison, in many ways, they're a lot more free than the people that are outside because that's when you get a chance to introspect, get in tune with yourself, separate yourself from materialism, separate yourself from a lot of temptations. You really get to go inside and see what you made up and who you are. And if given an opportunity to get back out here, a lot of times brothers are more focused and more more knowledgeable, more no, have more knowledge yourself. A shame. And so, you know? So I, I definitely feel that in your spirit. But um, yeah, so you was locked up for 25 years. Yes, sir. Yes, home. Uh, your, what was your credit score prior? Uh, uh, and I did this in a short time. I only been home four years and some change, not even five years. My credit score was 620 when I started with you guys. I'm 750 strong. I got a house built, brand new truck. Hey, all right, we want to go jump into that. Yeah, so what you got with the credit uh, in light of my program, man? Jump, say that again. That's I'm proud of you. Say it again. Got a house built, brand new truck. Uh, I'm in power, man. Like from the ground up. I ain't man, you told me that picture of your house, man. That yes, shit looks big, man. Yes, <laughs> no excuses. It's no excuses. Hey, we too smart to be broke. You hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Hold on. Uh, your your service is getting a little choppy. Hold on. Let's let's wait till his service get back on, man. Yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go. So uh Tell them your name, city and state, man. What's your name? Where you from, my brother? I should have asked you that first. I'm, I was just letting you flow. Okay, so uh, my name is Johnny. Uh, keep the last name. But uh, South Carolina, South Carolina. Johnny from, and, and, and what's your Instagram? You know, so they know it's real people, man. Okay. And I know they're going to they're gonna contact you and try to get the cheat code and ask, so what did he do for you so they could do it themselves? It doesn't work like that. But I just want them to know you're a real person. Uh, what, what's that Instagram? Was it at Almighty underscore what? Almighty ruler. Almighty underscore ruler or oh, rule. Which one is it? Rule her. Oh, rule her. Yeah, rule her. Yeah, spell it for us, man. Almighty it's R the underscore. Oh, yeah, Almighty rule uh, underscore. R U L mm -hmm. E R H E R. Okay. They put it in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but yeah, I'm real. I promise you, I'm real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know, uh, how how's it how's it feel, man? To be a homeowner, man. Words can't explain it, brother. I mean, just going to the house that no one ever slept in and just feel that peace of just laying in that big king size bed. It can't do them but make you be make you feel good about yourself. How that new That's it. How, how that new car feel? <laughs> Loving it. Hey, it rag. Hey, no problem. I ain't got to worry about being stranded. Talk your I'm, shit, man. <laughs> Talk your <laughs> shit, brother. I'm proud, Talk bro. It. For real. I'm very, very thankful, man. Very thankful. Man, very thankful. I just hope people understand coming from that journey, being uh, in prison for 25 years, man, you probably couldn't expect that something like this would turn around like that in such real time, huh? see it, man. Couldn't see it. But I know I, I know I was a fighter and I know I was strong. That's right. But I'm going to Oh my eye, brother. Uh, by you saying, I, I watched your video several times, several times, and your your energy just kept grabbing me. It kept grabbing me. And when you said, uh, you know, you brothers out here in these streets and y'all take chances with this and that, that and this and the third, these two thousand dollars ain't gonna hurt you, man. Real talk. I took I took my last and throwed it. You hear me? That's how much I. I remember. I remember when you first started. <laughs> you told me it's the last, and I said, "Don't get scary on me now. I, I got you. I need you to have confidence in me." That's right. I, I got a little scared, but I remember that. I said, "Brother, this is my last." I said, "Brother, this is my last." Man, hey, bro, you showed and proved, man. That's on everything. Hey, I, I promise you, I got South Carolina for you down here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, we gonna get it done. We are gonna put us in, back in position where we need to be, cause we um kings and queens, man. That's right. And we need to be like that. We definitely need to be living hey, like I'm, that. I'm going to pull up on you on the strength, 
or you know you find some free time this weekend you'll come rock with me in miami um I'm, I'm writing some music i can't say the name of the artist but i'm writing some music for them uh it should you free up this weekend you good money i got you i just want to celebrate you uh i'm, I'm supposed to host a club out there in miami you know they pay me to do that too I, you ain't gotta pay for nothing around me i just I just want, I, I love to celebrate with the brothers and sisters who yes. follow through. Let me say this. You are what I would call a model citizen of the credit restoration microwave of the CRM. And what I mean by that is you did everything to the letter. And you were patient even when we went past some of the time. But you understood it's because we're building more for you. I could easily leave people once we do what we do and say I'm out of here. But I like to I stay with of people and keep building them up even like i told you before we got on this live bro yes, sir. So i'm still here for you we got all the damage out the way now this is the fun part i'm That's not right. even done finished building your situation up yeah you know what i'm saying this is just the beginning so i don't just dip and tuck tail once people get their twenty thousand funding or okay your credit score is near 800 you got some credit cards i don't dip i stay with you the course if i see more work can be done so i'd be needing people to understand it because sometimes people be like yo we're past 90 and they don't really get the gist of how much work i'm doing and uh you were able to get that house and primarily in that car because not because of trans you experience equifax because of what i do by way of what's called lexus nexus csus and check systems check spelled with an x lexus nexus spelled with i's not use we were able to remove the reporting that they they do that hinders people from getting homes, hinders people from getting those six-figure loans, hinders people from getting those vehicles. Once I started sending those petitions out on your behalf, and we got Lexus, Nexus, and Check Systems in particular, and like there was like four other uh, CDAs, consumer data aggregates. Once we got that removed, you back in society, you're considered bankable, and now you can do things with ease that normally take months and months just to be turned down or rejected where people just start to feel bad about themselves start feeling low self-esteem you know these are things that we were able to accomplish during that process for you because of your patience and that patience was definitely a virtue because now like they say those who endorse shall receive the crown you know what indeed. i mean indeed <laughs> property man like you really did a good job and what i'm so when I say model citizen, like, for, for example, what we tell people, don't turn off your credit monitoring. We teaching people to exercise better behavior and make more intelligible decisions as consumers. So one of the things everyone should always have is uh, identity monitoring system. So if in the event someone is using your personal information without your consent, you can stop it in real time. The reason why we want you to have that it's because we don't want to no perpetrating fraud while we're working for you because then now we got to wait for that to clear up. That's one. But two, it's, it's just behavior that should already be practiced. Always have security around your identity, no matter what. So you can get an alarm in real time and stop it in real time so you're not hindered. This is just behavior that needs to be practiced. So a lot of times people might go through two months or three months of the program. Oh, I don't got to pay for my monitoring no more. And there's two problems with that. One, you leave yourself at risk and vulnerable. And two, it's integrated with our system's algorithm. So then when people be like, yo, I can't log back into my secure portal to see what you guys are doing on my behalf, I, nine and a half times out of 10 is because people stop paying for their monitoring. If you stop paying for your monitoring, our system is designed to disregard you. So people have to keep the integrity of the mission. They have to follow the protocol. That monitoring is extremely important to the mission always keep your monitoring program on people i'm saying this brother here is a model citizen of what we do he he went through, through the, ch the ch proper channels to communicate he doesn't always try to talk to me directly and then get mad if he can't get me because how many businesses can you talk to the ceo immediately and exclusively just like that yeah i make myself available but don't turn around and ask for a refund because you can't get me when i've created the opportunity for you to communicate through the site, through admin, the opportunity to communicate with your caseworker, okay? And the opportunity for you to look through your secure portal to see what's going on. There's so many venues that you could use, so this brother's never hassled me. He may have hit me. Most of the time you hit me up, 
You was thanking me because your credit score went up. Oh, P, I see my credit score went up again. That's right. You know? That's right. I see my credit score went up again. And I'm like, I like those messages. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, always send me those. I got a person today that hit me and said they scored 800, man. I'm going to post it too. I was hoping I could get them to do a little video testimony to tell people they had 800. But, <clears throat> man, brother, I just want to thank you, Johnny. I don't know if you like to be called Johnny or John. Hey, that's cool, man. Johnny, cool. That's cool. Yeah, man. But, I, you know, you're more than welcome to hang out. It's on me. So whenever your schedule free up, and I'm glad you being the man you are. You ain't quit your job. You're still working. Yeah. You make sure you stack your chips and have everything in place. Follow yes. the business model. Follow the working business model I give you. You'll know when it just it suffice to stop. Don't go cold turkey yet. Gotcha. No. gotcha. You're a smart, smart man. I'm working. Because a lot of people would have been like, oh. man, I'm rich, bitch. I quit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. They would have got up out of there. That's, you know That's it. I'm going to wait. I'm, it's going to be time. It's going to be that time, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you keep working like you ain't really getting things done. Yes, sir. And that that humility and that that willingness to exercise great judgment is really going to uh, pay you off exponentially in due time. You know, like I said, I, I'm, just, I'm just super proud of you because when a man do 25 years in prison, man, isolated from society, separated from society, I should say, and come out here, you could have came out here with a chip on your shoulders you came out here with every excuse in the world and rightfully so you know what i'm saying because we know that system isn't designed for rehabilitation it's, it's designed for institutionalization you know it's designed for you to come out with the burdens of society times 10 or more it's not designed for you to come out healed and restored you know what i'm saying so for you to come out and say i'm going to invest in myself not just invest it ain't like you came up with a bag like I said, when you first called me, you reassured me about two or three times. <laughs> my brother, my last money. And I'm like, hey, hey, my brother, you start hearing me get a little chippy because, you know, I, I'm from the hood, too. You, you hear me get a little anxiety. I'm like, yo, bro, I need your confidence. If I ain't got your confidence, I don't want your money. And That's we right. start off a little shaky. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I left. You thought about that. The other day, man, I promise you I did. I thought about it. I laughed about that. I was like, man, this a, this a real brother, man. I say, but when you go through what I've been through, you got to check the traps two, three times. Hey, man, hey, hey. Attitude. It's everything. I mean, it's everything. That's <laughs> but I feel man. good, man. I, I can tell you, man. Hey, hey, this brother was skeptical as a motherfucker. Like, you know, it's, it's like we tug a warrant under 2000. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, I, well, yeah. honestly, man, look but, at yeah, you still, out of man, you new car, new home, all that's and, it. and just bread available, more credit equity coming, and uh, you know, I, I again, I don't want to disclose all your financial business, yeah, you know, that's the number one reason a lot of people don't do the testimonies because they don't want everybody to know what's going on with their personal, so we ain't got to do that, but uh, needless to say. You have a lot more to look forward to and a lot more at your disposal, obviously, than you had four years ago when you came back into society. And that's a true blessing. Yes. And uh, those of you out there, they ask, uh, go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number when you are ready to get our credit restoration program. That's when we give you access anywhere between 50 grand to 300 grand that you don't have to pay back. Work with us. You get a caseworker. Um, I know your caseworker, you be building with your caseworker quite often. Yes. Sir. You get a caseworker exclusively assigned to you that's going to deal with your needs exclusively and immediately. After I do the audit of your report, after I do my evaluation, I then assign someone that best meets the mold, fits the mold for what type of work you need done. So once I evaluate, I give you a caseworker. <clears throat> you give us time. Then you'll have our site where you create username and password, you can track your results. You can see the deleted items as we remove them, the positive items as we add them. You'll see your credit scores as it's on the rise. We'll also work with you to get your credit equity up. That means better credit cards, credit cards that don't give you late fees, credit cards that don't have foreign transaction fees, okay? Uh, credit cards in which you could turn off the credit reporting. And if that be the case, then that really helps you and empowers you to invest using credit cards if you could turn off if it doesn't have late fees and you can turn off credit reporting, I'll show you how to use credit cards as leverage in terms of the credit equity so you can invest using that. So you have the, the monies that you don't have to pay back. You have the credit cards that you get up. You have your credit scores that's going to be on the rise. You have us 
removing the firewalls that's on the other financial bureaus and credit uh, institutions that impede on your ability to be approved for homes and cars, to be approved of $200,000, $300,000. It's not just TransUnion, Sparing, Equifax, and FICO, and it's not just merely having a so-called 750 or more credit score. Yes, it helps, but it's, that's not the end all. You have 30 different plus entities working against you. And depending on your city and depending on your state, it, we got to determine, we'll be able to make a determination which ones is impeding on your ability. You don't even know your own banks got credit scores and they solicit this data over to CDAs or consumer data aggregates. So we have to be really careful. And that's why I always say we need a coach because basketball players have coaches and boxers have trainers and we have to make money sport. We don't have nobody that really educates us on the right direction to go or set us up properly. So we just kind of out there swinging recklessly. And if I go box and I don't got a trainer and I think I'm going to play amongst the pros, I'm going to get knocked out. And if I'm going to play against athletes in the NBA, I could be really good in the streets. But these are people who have sports medicine at their disposal, professional coaches, trained day to day. They know what type of food to eat to satisfy the conviction of their future basketball career, the guy on the street is not going to be able to compete with them at the highest level. So we have to look at monies the same way. When we went to school all those years from pre-K to 12th grade, which was 14 years ago in the school, we did not have the luxury of being taught about credit. We didn't have the luxury of being taught about real estate. We didn't have the luxury of learning about finance. So how will we be able to be prepared as adults by the time we graduate if we didn't learn these things prior if these wasn't the prerequisite things that we were supposed to learn in school to put so we could usher our ways in into being adults in society how was we prepared we never was prepared properly and that's done on purpose that's right. and most of us are not going to do the right thing until the wrong thing happens meaning when our credit is horrible and we need a home then we start beseeching help and then we stress out the person that's supposed to help you all the while I'm not the one that gave you the student loan. I'm not the one that got you bankrupt. I'm not the one that put you in credit card debt. I'm not the one that gave you the predatory loans by way of the banks, okay? I'm not the one giving you, selling you on overdraft fees and charging you $35 every day that you can't pay back the money that we allowed you to have that we knew you didn't have in the first place. And then you, you get $35 on every day, 10 days you don't pay back the $200 they allow you to go negative into your account. Now you owe 350 on top of the 200 when you finally got the 200 available. That shit is a scam. Student loans are a scam. The mortgage situation is a scam. These are all scams. You have to be able to be educated to weave through this matrix to understand how to thrive and use things to your advantage. You know, when you get when you when you try to apply for a car and you're like, damn, the, the car salesman ain't really selling no cars day to day. How are they really making their money is because they're getting paid ten, fifteen dollars or more for every hard inquiry to see which lenders will be willing to give you the car if they're willing to lend you the money's for the car, give you the loan for the car. So what people don't understand is they won't be teach one or two lenders. What people don't understand is they'll go around and they'll, they'll reach out to 20, 30, 40 damn different lenders unnecessarily because that's 15 to $20 per each person. They do a hard inquiry to see if they can get you the funds. I mean, shit, after five people, we pretty much know what 10 people look like. And after 10 people, you pretty much know what their response gonna be if you go after 15. So why go after 20, 30 people asking if they will lend you money if the first five turns you down in the first place? That's because they're making 15, $20 off of every person. So picture making a hundred dollars off of every five people. So every 10 people is 200, okay? And every 20 people is $400. And then I'm doing this to person after person as they come in to my dealership. I don't need to sell a car at this point. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But they don't tell you the schemes and new scams. That's why you need to have a coach at your disposal. So again, my brother, I'm just happy that you can get on this live. And of course, people are gonna want your birth certificate and your social security, because that's how they are. But I do this for the real brothers and sisters who maybe this is an incentive enough for them to realize, no, not just spend with me, but for them to come to terms with the fact they need to invest in themselves. That's what this is for. I want people to invest in themselves. You took that risk. Like you reiterated to me two, three times, yo, bro, this is my last bread. It's my last money now. <laughs> if this don't work, you know, and I, how could I do that to a man? And, you know, at that time, I don't know if you mentioned how many years you did. I know you said you did time, but I don't think you told me how many years at that time. 
But imagine someone being wicked to a man who just came back home. You know what I'm saying? But what? Yeah. I shouldn't even have to know that. I shouldn't have to know that. I should just do what's right on the strength anyway, because I understand the terms and conditions that surround my people. And that's why I created the program in the first place. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Thanks for you, bro. The utmost respect, man. I can't, I can't even say it no dear, man. Listen, I feel like you saved my life. <laughs> hey, thank you, my brother, man. Feel, man. Yeah. It's been a struggle, you know, then trying to find and work and find and find and work. And you just fell out the sky. <laughs> bro, I appreciate you. From the heart, thank, I appreciate you. Thank you, King. Thank you so much. Yeah, we up from here. We, we all the way up from here. And as soon as I get a day, I'm coming to chill with you. Hey, you. Yeah, you and coach. You ready as on me, King. I, I got to see y'all. That's that's the, that's the last thing I do in life. I got to come chill with y'all, man. man big, I got to come to you to make it. Yeah, I will. You know, I just, I always, one thing I do, I always celebrate with my students when they get their bag. Yes, so sir. I don't mind lying to you and you show me around the Carolinas what I got to do. I do that too. I said that. Got you. Bro. I hired my assistant and I'll be here. You know, I just got to do what I got to do, uh, write this music and stuff uh, in Miami and, and, and host two clubs. And I'm free after uh, Tuesday. <clears throat> and we, whatever you say, I'll do it. I don't, it don't matter. My thing is, you know, in law, a friend is one who's willing to invest in you or one you're willing to invest in. Indeed. Okay? So uh, I should be your best friend at this particular point in time. That's you know? And you my friend. You invested in my business, and then you made money. And in turn, you make money, then I'm making money. So it's reciprocity. That's a true friendship. That's you right. Know? So right. I got to come man, see my friend, and my friend got to come see me. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to break right. bread. We're going to celebrate. Because one thing that's weird about our community, we don't celebrate each other's wealth. I want to celebrate your newly found wealth. You know, so we, you know, I like wine, but you know, you can pop a bottle that matters on me. Whatever you like to do, King, you know, bring your family or whoever's close to you. We chop it up. We, we can break down some more information so I ain't got to do it over phone. And I want to give you that love and that support because that support system's everything because everybody's normally watching to see if it works when you do it. You know what I mean? You, you tell people what you invest in, some nigga off the internet, and they're like, all right, I hear that. Let's see how it turned out. You can drop all the knowledge in the world. They still want to see. They still peeking through the bushes to see if it worked out for you. Then when it worked out for you, then everybody wants you to microwave their process when they should have been doing it with you all along. They even probably put some money in the pot so you didn't have to pay. What's that? Yeah, the people seeing it. What's crazy, the people around me, they seeing it. Now they like, oh. I just, I just, well, I done, I done, yeah, turned a couple of people where they need to be. Yeah. But I promise you, they seen it now. You the truth. You, you can give truth. your testimony soon. I'm listening, my brother. Yeah, you the truth. It, it is what it is. I'm sorry if you people miss it. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> thank you so much, King. I, I can't thank you enough for sharing. Uh, people don't realize how hard it is to get people to share because a lot of people are, don't, you know, negative people share as much as they can share. Many times, cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. Positive people, they get they get theirs off. They don't like to be in the public eye a lot of times. There's nothing negative about it, but it's good when the positive people do say something sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is really good. I appreciate you for having the confidence. And, you know, and normally I just have people do a 30-second video, say they city and state, happy with their credit score, and if they want to disclose how much money they got, and boom, call the day. But um, I really love your story, and I'm glad that you had confidence. Mommy's there. Huh? I'm on the live stream, baby. Yeah, get, can you give me five minutes? Give me a few minutes. It's mommy right there. Go go tell mommy. Oh, All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't interrupt my whole situation, man. Hey, act like her mom for real. <laughs> Hell with what I'm doing. Yes, sir. You don't see her? She's in the room. Unless she's hiding. Mommy hiding. Find her. Dude, she can't. She got to be in there. She's hiding. Hey, Nate, come out of hiding, man. I'm on the live. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> 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 hey, it's like, that's what like I can deal with, man. That's why I be trying to step out a lot of times, man. Bless <laughs> Blessing, blessing, huh? <laughs>
Yeah, but yeah, bro, it was great um, building with you, though, man. And like I say, if they didn't want to follow you, what's your IG again? Um, Almighty underscore rule yeah. her. Yeah, rule her. That's it. Rule her. Yeah. Yeah. That, what a blessing, man, you have been, brother. Yep. All, almighty. Well, it says here, almighty underscore R-U-L-E. But I do be seeing rule her under it. Yeah. Almighty under score R U L E y'all on on Instagram and hey baby turn close the door hey Matt do me a favor close that door she got the, and turn that TV down my goodness <clears throat> just turn it down a little you don't gotta turn it off and close the door because it's kind of loud baby please real time yeah and my other daughter man that's better. That girl, don't don't let my little girl get the remote. <laughs> she go and with the volume, man. She knows she's breaking the law because I can't I can't go over there right now. I'm live streaming, so she's breaking all laws in here. <laughs> go ahead. No one will see. Yeah, yeah, I mean they're breaking laws. Everybody breaking laws in here. They lawless in here now. Is <laughs> that <laughs> act like they sleep when I go off the stream? They lawless, but but yeah, brother. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, Ned, close the door. Close the door, baby. Thank you. Yeah, she watching her cartoon. She like she like Paw Patrol. Yeah, she watching this cartoon or this show called Paw Patrol. She like it a lot, and she like Minnie Mouse. So she watching one of them two things. Yeah, but, yeah. So he's Almighty underscore Rule R U L E, and then you'll also see under it uh, Almighty Rule her. You'll see that under his name. But uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Again, you go to brotherpolite45gmail.com, brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T, 45, at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to change your financial paradigm, when you're ready to change your financial destiny, when you're ready to do like my brother did and restore his economic grace, you know? And, I, again, I saw that picture, man. Shit fire, bro. Man, I look appreciate it home look like a beautiful home man i seen all those pictures i love to see it i'm glad you sent it to me i really looked at it for yeah. the first time today i did you send it today for the first time i think you sent yeah. it today yeah, yeah. And, and uh and the cars <laughs> parked in the garage <laughs> yes sir man. i'm feeling it i love it i know you wake up every day feeling good man i do man especially after where i came from i feel empowered every day man like it's it's and non-stop I, up. Life, life is so weird you know, uh, thank goodness you free back on these streets. And yes, you did your 25 years, but life is so weird. Uh, and walk with me on it. Had you not did the 25 years, who knows what you would have? Who knows? You know, uh, and that may sound nuanced and it may sound a little spooky, but even with me, with my, I didn't know my, my father left me at the age of eight and my mother died the week I met her when I turned 17. So I had seven days with my mother and she died. So I ain't had no mother or father for so long in my life. I never got to see how it looks when they're together, first of all. But my pop left me on my birthday. He came back into my life a little uh, when I got older and then wound up dying a few years thereafter. But uh, my mom, I had seven days with. So imagine not knowing your mother your whole life. Get to meet her and she dies six days later from the time you meet her. So people ask, like, would you, if you could change that, would you? <clears throat> and that's it. That's a wild question because maybe I would not have arrived at many of the conclusions that I arrived at definitively that caused me to get into health, that caused me to get into real estate, that caused me to work more diligently and make suitable proficiency in my studies to become the man that I am. Maybe I wouldn't have the same value system for family because I'm enthused greatly to be a monarch in my family and to employ wealth stewardship generational wealth maybe i wouldn't have had the same conviction had i had both mother and father in my life for a longer duration of time i might have been a coon ass nigga for I don't know. who knows still would have <laughs> had my intelligence but who knows i probably wouldn't have this zeal or this zealousness towards my people if i had both my parents so i can never say with conviction i would wish I had my mother and father. Perhaps in a, some eerie way, I will serve this fate so I can get here. 
And if I'm not served that fate, I may not have been able to impact you and every other person out there. Because it just don't work like that. It's a domino effect. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? So maybe there's more value in me on earth not having my parents most of my life. There's probably more, more value in the universe for that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Peace, so bro. who knows? So I just deal with what I do know. We don't deal with no spookism. You know what I'm saying? So what I do know is where I'm at today. Yes, peace. And, that's, word. Hey. Knowledge, yeah. knowledge. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. You feel me? Yes, sir. So that's that's how that's how we gotta look at these things. You feel me, my brother? We gotta we gotta look at it with that level of optimism. We can't have a cynical eye on the present. You know, we got we gotta bear witness at all times that we never given what we can't handle. And you know what? Perhaps you, you were given what most people couldn't, but you were given it because you can't. <laughs> Real no spooky to it. You here today and you are a, a, a model of what we should be able to do given where you come from. Because pe people are, have been subject to far less strife and you have transcended that strife and you persevered. So how dare another person say they can't? So that's what makes you so beautiful right now, my brother. Your struggles, your, 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 uh, the contentions life has given you, the adversity you've been subject to for you to arrive how you have arrived today man it's a blessing to be able to communicate with you because even you serve as motivation for me my brother thank you brother i appreciate that man i really appreciate yeah. that yeah That's you right. motivate me my brother i'm proud of you and like i said man uh i we had to sit down and go into contemplation go into meditation and also into tears for you it felt good it feels good when you know you have an impact on people right. you know I'm in a world where people are constantly tearing me down, constantly questioning my motives, constantly questioning if I'm real, if I'm sincere. I help a lot of people, people that's been in my stock program. I've turned people to millionaires. You feel what I'm saying? Like, but people will always look for whoever is upset and they will never give me the praise, the respect, the adoration of the thousands of people who I know. And I can actually say thousands. I can actually say that and it's not cap. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it, it does wear and tear on your spirit to see people want you to fail, you know? Yeah. But, but then every now and then you come across a brother like you and your story, and you send me those pictures today, man. And bro, that shit make me want to cry now, man, just to put the impact I have. Cause sometimes I have an impact that I don't see cause people don't share. And then sometimes I just read the message of the impact and I'm like, man, that's powerful. Sister has it single mother of four children is about to commit suicide. I got an audio message that if I played it, you know, people are so wicked, they would think that's a lie. We need to see her face. But I got an audio message of a woman who's going to commit suicide because she felt at loss that she couldn't get the job done. And she, like you, spent her last money and didn't even have it all. She had 1800 I said, man, who the hell am I to stop? Y'all know you're going to make you bread. Don't worry about it. So... She's like, man, if this don't work, brother, I'm going to tell you, I don't know what I might do. I said, don't put that on my soul. Don't put that on yours. <clears throat> Stay the course. Walk with me. Hold my hand. We're going to take a long walk on a short path. You tap in whenever you need to tap in. We got the case where you got me. But because I know your crisis, you can contact me as much as you need to contact me if you're feeling weak. That's right. I got you. Can't do it for everyone. That's God right. Damn it, you got four children you're single mom and i hear the sincerity in your voice and i hear you about to break the fuck down it's coming out of domestic violence everything yeah. paperwork she in a shelter she got to get out man that that woman to this day man not only has a house she sell houses damn that's what i'm talking about her daughter got her own house that's what i'm talking and about her oldest daughter got got the restoration program too you know what i'm saying and, and so it be stuff like that, that when I get cocky online and I talk what I talk and people write all their BS, I just feel like, you know, my armor is my armor and armor is Latin for love. So I feel like my shield, my armor is my armor. You know what I'm saying? My shield is love that I get from my good brothers and sisters because, you know, with the ancestors by your side, who could be against you? Who can be against <laughs> I'm, you? I'm doing this for all the ones. That, that couldn't make it, for all the ones who never got a chance to drive a Rolls Royce, and I said it, for all the ones who never had a house 
that they could say was their own. For all the ones who never had a car that they could say, I'm not under duress because I got this car and I got to watch my back because I went over the budget. I'm doing this for all the ones who couldn't give their baby girl a special birthday party. For all the ones who felt like they had to kill themselves, that, that went into depression, that went into extreme anxiety. I do it for them. So every time someone graces me with the news that their life is better, it really impacts me away because I could have been them down the same path because when I had my father and my mother in my world and I was gang banging and I'm in and out the system and I was homeless, like no place to live and I'm sleeping and showering in my friend's house telling me I just need to use the bathroom and their mom's just wiping the, 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 the smoke of condensation from the, from the mirror like, is this nigga sneaking showers in the house? I was treated like a criminal for sneaking five-minute showers in. Because I ain't want to be in the shelter no more. So I was just moving around house to house, sneaking in houses, washing up in my friend's crib, and taking myself to school every day for as long as I could before I went the wrong way and started doing the wrong thing in the streets. You feel me? And when I'm 13 years old from the only chain I ever had from my grandmother, uh, Princess Cut, Gucci Link, uh, Brigette by the neck to look like a, a leash on a on a tiny bulldog 24 karat gold 550 dollars at the time you know price of gold and went up i had a chain probably three weeks before somebody came chipped my tooth still too tip to this day was a little smoother over the years shoved the gun in my mouth and because i ain't never had much i ain't want to give up my chain the nigga had to rip it off my neck even though he put a gun to my mouth and told me Shorty, you bugging. Your life should be worth more than that. And I had an epiphany. I was given a powerful message from a nigga robbing me. One of the most powerful messages I ever got was from a nigga who robbed me. <laughs> Think about that, right? You man, How crazy man. is life? But it's you know? life, bro. <laughs> How crazy is that? Oh, man. And, and yeah. you know, I just think about all this shit. You know, you waiting home for your father to come on your eighth birthday and he don't show. You waiting to see your mom Every day you walk the streets, you see women that look like you. Sometimes you even have the audacity to ask, do you have a son named Michael? Because you see a similitude to their face. And then the year you finally quit and say, I'm going to stop looking for your mother. I randomly bump into her brother in the street who recognizes me and says my full name. And we get to the conversation and eventually he takes me to my mother. His name is Dennis Byron. Takes me to my mother. And then she died six days later. Sorry brother, that, bro. brother moved into my neighborhood randomly. And but I bumped into him in the streets and he recognized my face. The year I said, I'm going to stop chasing this woman down, stop looking for her. Finally get to meet my mom, and I couldn't even express how I felt. Because I see she needed me, though I needed her my whole life. So I never said one negative thing to her about me missing her. Because when I met her, she was already dying from cancer and diabetes. I thought I had time. I didn't know six days she'd be gone. And I said, what kind of shit is this? That life served me. I didn't know it's a cruel joke or what. So what I'm saying is, my brother, people like us different. We could have been broken by now. You feel what I'm saying? Could have been broken for all the right reasons. Not the wrong ones, for all the right reasons. If anybody could be broken, we can be surely broken and they tell That's our right. story and people would understand why we become the villains of society but we chose a higher route and we were patient That's right. you know what i'm saying and people will still look to abuse still look to mischaracterize us but the point is our journey is what strengthened us you know what i'm saying and then right. watch yourself and the That's love right. which is our armor or our, our more you know so i say this so y'all that's out there that might be going through something, <clears throat> you know, uh, I, you can't predict the future. The only thing you know that's inevitable is if, if you never shoot your shot, you, you never make a point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to gotta put, put up as many shots as possible until you, you hit. And, and there's a, such a thing called the zone. Once you keep shooting after a while, you wind up in a damn zone. No one can take you out of it, you know? But you can't make a shot you never take. So you just got to keep fucking taking shots. And pardon my language, man, but you don't know when your time going to come, but you wasn't put on this planet to just struggle. You, so so long as you don't give in to temptation, your time going to come. And because of the time that you was, you was patient and you was waiting, you're going to be able to save 
remember that moment for the rest of your life because even if they took everything from me right now to this very day, if they took everything from me, man, the fact that I went through the bullshit and came out the muck and the mire to access wealth and materials and love that most of our people never even experienced, especially on this side of the earth, man, I can live the rest of my life with what I've gained rather than think about what I've lost. That's right. That's right, bro. That's peace, man. That's peace. Right. Hey, I appreciate you sharing your story with me, man, because I, like, from the first time me uh, ever watching you, man, your energy been so catching because I just, I just got the ability. I know one of my talents I was grown, I was born with is to decipher good energy and bad energy. Like, I, that's, it was just given to me. I can see it from a mile away, like, no need to bring a negative energy to me because I can see it immediately. That's right. But yeah, I, I appreciate the energy that you give off, man. It, it really caught me, in, and that's what made me throw my last little two bands. That's all <laughs> I No doubt. No but, 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 but I love it though because I, that's the best two bands I ever spent my whole life, brother. Man, you hear me? my it's whole gonna perpetuate yourself. I, I spent my whole life, and I done did thousands of things out here. You hear me? But I was at a crossroad at that time. And I'm gonna leave it like that. I could have did this and did that, and, or I could have did this and did that. Yeah, but I chose that because I know what I know what I've been through. That's right. I'm That's glad, you made the decision, brother. I'm glad you made the right decision, brother. <laughs> why save my life? That's why I say, everybody out there, if you if you had a crossroad, you know, been through something, I'm gonna be the first to say, man, you better go with the brother, man. And thank you, brother, man. Go with the brother, because I promise you something for you. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> I'm there too, man. <laughs> we both most, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. But you know, a lot, man. Thank you so much, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not. Hey, we we up from here, man. Yeah, we up from here. yeah. Family, yeah. From what it is. That's right. Man. Yeah, that's that's it, man. Um, and like I say, I, I met a lot of great people on my team, though, through my journey, though. Uh, a lot of great people just seen realness in me, man. Right. And just like, hey, man, they put me in position to be out here. And then you put me in position to uh, financially stabilize myself, which is a blessing, man. Like, that's right. That's a, that's a, that's a lifesaver for me. Because even walking out that door, man, I'm thinking to myself, like, how am I going to stabilize myself? How am I going to eat? That's right. How am just be thrown back into a society with nothing and say, here, here go the world, go get it. That's right. In my mind, just, I'm everywhere like, hey, man, but I got a job and I took, and I took, you know, I did what I needed to do. And I ran across you, man, and it, it made my life, bro. Yeah. No doubt, man. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Appreciate yeah, I man. appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. I, love, I love you, my brother, man. Thank you so much for sharing. You really uh, purged my soul, man. Thank you so much. You, know, you did a lot for me. Hey. You did a lot for me. I plan on breaking this uh this uh generational wealth curse that my family got going on. And it looked like I'm gonna be the first one who break it too, man. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's right. That's every, right. Like I done went past everybody that was out here. Man, not not to brag not, of to my own horn, but not bragging. I know how to stabilize. I got Seven kids, man. I got two wow. girls, and uh, they're not my kids biologically, but I mentor that. my kids because I mentor to them. That's right. And, I, and I, I teach them and I take care of them because I don't never want them to go through what I went through. That's right. So, that's right. yeah, so that's, that's what I do. That's that's the majority of my time. You know, I feel you, you, man. Yeah. Really? They're begging me to take them to the store right now. I got to do this. No, no, do it. Yeah, but I, I swear, my, this, hey. my life is... But what else? Everything I got left, brother. Kids and older folks, man. That's all I got. That's that's all I'm aiding the system, man. Kids and older folks, man. That's right. That that's that's my life. That's what I got to give. And I'm doing my works in the street. I ain't going nowhere. I'm, I'm I'm showing I'm showing my godly love around the people that I can see that need it. That's right. I know they need that's, it. That's, I know they need it. That's our main responsibility. That's it. You know, only reason I want to have it so I can let it go. That's one of my sayings. And it, sure. and what I've learned from one of my teachers, uh, I give you everything I got so long as you share it with me. That's real, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's just knowledge that the old heads give you. You know what I mean?
That's real. That's real. Word up. So we're going we gonna to take it to the levels, man. Thank you, my brother. I'm going to sign off. This is a lot for me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, bro. I look forward to us hanging out, man. Yeah. I, I promise you, that's on my life. As soon as I got some time, you tell me when you got some time. I'm going to tell you. We're going to make that time. We're going to do another live in person because I always see my mentees. I always see my students in person. Okay. They achieve milestones. Gotcha. And I'll spend my own funds and come to the Carolinas, man. I'm going to see you, my brother. I want, and I want you to come to the house, brother. That's why I want to oh, do it. Oh, man, I got it. Yeah, let's do that. That's, yeah, do it. Come, come to my house. We'll do it right there in my house. That's what I want. Crib, bro. man. That's, that's what I want. I'm going to come to the crib. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna plan that. <laughs> let's, plan, let's plan that tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and let's, let's get a date and time, and I, I can send, send to my assistant, and then, because I'll say yes to dates and times, and I'll be so off in it. And I apologize to everybody that I do talk to because sometimes I tell people, yeah, I'm going to talk to you this time. That's why I always say it's best to talk to the administration, talk to my assistants, because my heart is huge and I mean what I say when I say it. And then my mind pulled me between my wives, my children, my, my students, my businesses. And then I come up short every damn time. And I, try, I do my, I don't say try, I do my best not to, but sometimes I just spread myself too thin because my intention is high. And I got a lot going on all at one time, and I don't minimize nobody's struggle or their disposition. So I do my best in a quantum to be as many places as I possibly can. But sometimes I come shy of that effort, and I do know it's wrong to say I'm going to do something that I don't do it. And I'm just also asking grace for my brothers and sisters that know my intention as well, because it's not often that people in the position of the leadership take the time out to talk to people that they don't even know. And like I'm telling y'all, sometimes people be going through serious situations when I meet them and I just embrace them off the strength of that, the energy of the conversation. I just keep building with them to make sure they hang on until I produce the results. So it's just, it's rough. You know, sometimes some people's story just really affect my soul and I got to make sure I see them through because I worry about them like they are brother or sister of mine. And, I, and believe me, it's not because someone's a female. It's not because who someone related to, it's just on the strength of energy. Yeah. You know, like, you know, I, I do for you, my brother and more. I ain't know you from a hole in the wall. You just felt like the way you expressed to me, your insecurity and your last monies, it felt like something <laughs> reminiscent of how I felt back in the day. But I didn't get good results when I, when I was doing that with my money, doing my best to invest. Black people was fucking me over on top of it. Oh, you know, someone said it, I took it personal, like, man, what you think I'm, yes, I got so much confidence in what I do, I'm like, man, I'm gonna do this shit for free for you, like, that's that's just how my mind works, like, you can thank me later, like, that's how I be feeling, so <laughs> I'm like, yo, why is it, do you fuck with me or not, like, you, you here, and you want to get the work done, but then you also sound like you doubt me, I was like, mix the most is talking to you, but I'm like, I'm gonna show him something, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I, love <laughs> I remember, like, yo, bro, what's up? Yeah, you know but I get it though. Yeah, and I just, I, and again, that was before I even knew you did twenty five years and just coming home. So yeah. that just show you the sincerity, because I shouldn't have to know that I to work hard for you and go to bat for you. That's right. But now that you, you don't know how emotionally overwhelmed I feel like. If, if I would have missed the opportunity to empower you, man, who knows? So I know everybody don't tell me their story because it's a business. I don't really be on the phone lines to hear the stories because I can only talk to so much people at a time. 24 people, one hour per person, that's the whole day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 48 people times 30 minutes each, that's the whole day. So I really don't have time to talk to people and I do my best to see who I can talk to directly. It's rough. <laughs> but for those times that I do get to hear people out, man, it's, it's impacting, man. It impacts me. And I walk around with the stress on my shoulders and people ask me, how come I don't do the health thing like I like to do? And that's, it was a, it was a lot of burden and a lot of stress. I'm going to get back into the health. But once you start hearing people's issues and they cry, if, it hurts if I can't relieve a person of their ailments or their family in real enough time or if that person is not working in conformity to the regimen to help themselves, 
I've already seen so many of my family members leave because of these treacherous diseases. Sometimes it brings me back to seeing my grandmother, seeing my father, seeing my mother, seeing my grandfather, seeing my aunt. It brings me back to their situation when I'm helping other people. So I needed to take a break from dealing with health because, you know, I'm only a sentient being too. I'm a field. <clears throat> and it brings me back to watching people on their deathbed when I had to help them. So I needed a break from the health thing for a while because between dealing with people financial crisis and burdens and dealing with their wellness issues with their health that, and dealing with the massive amount of the people that's constantly contacting, hey, I'm sick for this. Hey, I can't get my, I, you know, I, erection prompts. Oh, one lung is not working. Oh, I'm about to be evicted. They're foreclosing on my house and my children, I got no place to stay. The combination between the two worlds is overwhelming sometimes. And I, I just need a break. So people don't understand, like, everybody got so much issues. It's a lot for me to help. And I know how to help, but sometimes it's bring me back to the worst points in my childhood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand that. I need to clear my head sometimes. Sometimes I, I work for people and I'm like, yo, I'm going to work with you through the process. And then I just got to dump them off to my administrators because it gets overwhelming dealing with so many people with so many issues so similar to issues I was immediately subject to in the past. Yeah. It's a lot. So I just want, you know, this seems to be the type of stream where I could really express some personal things to my, my good brothers and sisters. But anyway, you, you guys can go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready. Like how my brother did right here. Uh, my brother Johnny, leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to change your world. $2,000, you get access to six figures. You don't have to pay back equity and credit cards with better credit cards with higher amounts that you can turn off the credit reporting, not get late fees, get a caseworker that's going to deal with your credit exclusively and immediately boost your credit scores on up 750 upwards like my brother here. Uh, get me as your mentor to coach you when you have the wealth, now that you have your new house and your new car, my brother. The coaching really begins now. I don't leave you now. I'm with you now to make sure you don't lose that under no circumstances and you don't fall for the tricks and the traps that they set once you do have it so they can take it from you. Because like you said, you in a home no one has ever been in. That's right. right. That was a powerful statement. You, it wasn't just a house. <laughs> you in the energy of someone who had lost it and then you walking into the energy, you in a whole new house. That's right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Saying right. that's you know you you also have the website you can track your results see the delete items as we move them positive items as we add them see when your money is pending or processing when the funding is clear I just want to uh, thank you my brother again for sharing with us your testimony coming out of prison now having your own home and your own car your your credit is up you know what I'm saying he was, he was in the low six hundreds teeth ran on five hundreds and now you're over seven fifty man and, yes. and and I mean, and never saw it for yourself. Two thousand dollar investment. I mean, shit. <laughs> Who can argue with that? Biggest flip I ever made. Yes, uh. sir. And, <laughs> and still flipping somersault. <laughs> Jimmy Circle so lay out there. That, you used to set up a show in Vegas. You know what I mean? Right. That's right. <laughs> Keep I flipping that like that. That's hell yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm a, I'll, I'll talk to you, my brother. I love you all. I don't got to know you to love you. I can feel you, man. Uh, hit us. Leave your full name, your phone number when you're ready to spend your 2000 to take it to the highest level and change your financial paradigm. Break generational curses, like you said, my brother. Your first one on your, your team, first one on your family. And, you know, you're the, you're the messiah of your family. And the best thing you can really give your family is the knowledge and the know-how, brother. That's the best thing you can do. Share your experience. Share the knowledge. Not necessarily the funds. Make them go through the process that you had to go through. Make them roll the dice on themselves. That's right. Make them invest in themselves. Make them take the time out to get the funds up to invest in themselves. That's the way you maintain your wealth, and that's how you help them help themselves. That's right, brother. That's right. I'm on it. Nice to be important, however, more important to be nice. Indeed. Man, knowledge, knowledge, bro. I'm going to get out of here, man. Me too, brother. Man, hey, I look forward to it, man. To everything we got going on, man. Thank you for your friendship and your love, man. Thank you, King.
friends forever, King. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Well, knowledge, knowledge, man. Hey, Universal Family, y'all better get with it, brother. Y'all playing. You'll be left behind because we up. That's right. <laughs> Peace. Uh, Peace. But love, man. Love, man. Knowledge, knowledge, people. Yes, sir. Peace, God. All right, peace. Peace, God.